I'm here with Bill McAdams from Hercules Herps, and I am, or he, Bill is holding a Sun Dragon Boa Constrictor, which is one of my favorite morphs. It's the Blood Albino Hypo. It's in shed. I know that. Yes, it is. How long did it take you to produce this thing? Uh, How many years? Six years. Long-term project. Yeah, it was. It was a double-head project that we've been working on for years, and you know, like everybody else, you don't want to get into it, you know, and spend a lot of money, but. Uh, we've been doing double heads and double heads and double heads, and we finally produced one, and I'm kind of nice. And you know what sucks when you when you don't produce the the visual, you have probable heads. Yeah, right. Which well, sucks because that's yeah. hard to sell those. Well, you, know? well, you sell them, you wholesale them, whatever yeah. you gotta do, you yeah. know. But you know, the jam is the jam, you know. You, it's what you want to get. This is exquisite. I mean, it, it doesn't. I mean, once again, I wish it wasn't in shape, but this thing it doesn't get cleaner than this. I mean, this is about as red a red as you can get. I don't think. I don't know if you can make it any more red. Well, I think the lipstick line's a little bit more red, but yeah, it's, it's, um, you like red, you like orange, you're going to like this snake. <laughs> you know, the funny thing is, when you take the hypo out of there and you just produce the, the uh, the total, dragon. Yeah, just total, total different look. It is, it is, it's, it's completely different. Yeah, it's it weird is. how the hypo in, the, in this particular combination really just almost gets rid of all the pattern. Absolutely. It's just, uh, I mean, this is what, if you're going to make double head blood, I mean, you can make blood albinos. I mean, this is what you want. Right. You know, something with the hypo in it. Now, what's interesting is that, you know, you work so hard to produce the Holy Grail here. You, you get the thing, and then you're like, all right, now I got to make something better than this. Where do you go from here? Um, I, I would like to get the arabesque in something like this. Yeah. I mean, obviously, they've already got the, uh, the VPI in the blood, um, um, the blood albino. So, um, I, I like I like more pattern in it. I think more pattern in it would kind of uh, make it really freaky. I saw I was talking to Tom Burke and Tom had the IMG arabesque yes. uh, albino, albino, and I said, man, if you could put blood in this, and he's like, I never thought about that. That would be great because yeah. the pattern, like you said, yeah. the pattern with the contrast between the yellows, the reds, the albinos, the hypos. It's it's they're, they're, I think it's going to look great. It might even be better without the hypo gene, right? Just just uh, albino, our best blood, you know. Yeah, I could see it. Nice I could see it. it. Yeah, it, show, show that us, would be a lot darker. Show us the the VPI uh, that you got blood. You gotta lock these things up. You don't want people walking around away with a ten thousand dollar snake, right? I mean, that that would be a, a, a terrible thing. Now the VPI line is one of the lines of caramel albino that we have in boas. There's this, this at least that I know of. There's three of them in, right now, and it seems to be one of the more extreme caramel albino lines. Yeah, it's a very popular, um, popular uh, T positive line. They're pretty, um, pretty popular. They're pretty hard to make, and they're pretty exciting. I mean, this is the first year I've made them. This is a visual um, Junglo Motley VPI. IMG, and this is 50% had blood in this. Wow, so if you can get blood into that, that's gonna be crazy. Um, yeah, it is crazy. I mean, we've been working on it for years. I know Rich over at uh, Da Vinci, he's been working on it, and uh, yeah. I'm, I'm excited. I mean, I, I this is our first time breeding, and I've um, I hit five of them, so. Wow, I'm congratulations. Breeding, so it's pretty cool. I well, produced all females, but. Of course, yeah, of course. I produced a Paradigm blood. Nice. Which was nice, because that's, that's the Bow Woman Caramel, you that's know, great. version. But I, yeah, but the VPI is a little more extreme, I think. Um, now, how could you tell that there's IMG in this snake? Well, it, first of all, it's got a rusty color in the sun glow, and second of all, you got you see the dark patterns on the face and the nose. That's the tip off. That's a tip off. Now, how dark will this snake get? Um, will it turn completely black? I don't think in so. The VPI I think, form. I think it's going to turn more of a like a rusty color with mm. the with the black dots and so yeah. forth, black spottings on it. You can see black spottings on the side. They get really cool though. Yes, they do. I mean, if you like, I like that kind of stuff. You get yeah. a, a, a dark pattern, a light pattern, and you throw a little rust in it. It's, it's like really cool. Doing some great stuff here. Thanks. How do people get in touch with you if they want to buy a um, snake? We're on Facebook, a Hercules Herps. Um, and you can contact us through, through message us through that. This one for sale? Absolutely. They're all for sale. They're all for sale. Contact them if you want to get the creme de la creme, creme, creme de la creme, creme de la creme of snakes in the boa world. And uh, congratulations. Hey, thank you. Thank you very much.